Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melting craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3 3 through 5 18 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Live day is back. Oh, yeah. And we want you with us. Want you with us now. We're going to be there. Yeah. The men's room are going to be there. Oh, well, I mean, come on. And now people can be there. Yeah, we're letting people in as we're uh, doing live day on November 18th at the Snoqualmie Casino. It's a P-A-O-T-Y because I said so. She's right, and it's our first time we're having a party with the Rockaholics in forever, and it'll be the first and only way that we'll be able to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Rock. Lots of good reasons to go to Live Day. First of all, you know, all the uh, sound effects, the commercials, music, everything is done live, so it's a high-wire act. Like Steve said, it's our golden anniversary. We started in the 70s, so the Live Day theme, solid gold 70s, baby. Right, party with the Rock, or as my daughter says, Rock. Oh. Party with the Rock. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't know why she becomes Russian when she talks and rocks. All right. uh, well, tickets are on sale right now. You can choose from a variety of ticket options. You want more info? You want to buy those tickets to Live Day, November 18th at Snoqualmie Casino? You go to KISW.com. Let's play B Mix. It's time to play the game. Yeah. So everybody scream his name. B Mix. Don't be a It's Thursday, so let's get cracking! Release the Kraken! Sploosh! And Kraken Thursdays are powered by Coors Light. Yeah, baby. Yeah, just a couple more days till the big, big game. Did you see the uh, locker room? Uh, a lot of pictures are being posted. People got no. to get a tour of uh, Climate Pledge Arena in the, ro- the, lo- the rocker room. The rocker room! The rocker I love room. the rocker rooms. <laughs> the locker room for the Kraken is pretty sweet. They put Instead of putting the logo on the ground, which is always a joke because you shouldn't step on the logo, they put the logo on the ceiling and it lights up and it just looks it looks phenomenal. Wow. wow. Very nice. Yeah, it's very well done. Kind of got a cool vibe. I think Vicky's got it. it. It looks just like the locker room at the Kraken Ice Plex, but a little bit different. But yeah. That's amazing. That is awesome. Let's get to our cont- I'm so excited for this. Well, let's get to our contestant for this game. We've got Brad and Sumner. Brad, are you there? Yes, I am. Whoa. All right, Steve, get out of here. All right. Sploosh. Whoa. For those playing at home, Brad will have 60 seconds to keep working. Uh, <laughs> 60 seconds yeah, to answer 10 questions. You can pass all you want, uh, but you'll only get three guesses Brad, per question. Brad, Brad, hold on a second. This is It's tough to hear with this guy. Dude, is there any way you cannot have all that noise in the background? Brad? Brad? Hello? Brad? Brad? Hello, Brad? Well, all right. I guess Brad? Brad's gone. Brad? Okay. All right, then. Yes, yes, yes. You're there? Oh, he's back. Yeah, we're there. We're here. We're here. All right. Well, it got a little bit quieter, so let's see on this. All question. right. Well, let's hope for uh, Good luck, a little Brad. less noisy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you can, you can make, you may continue, sir, Rev. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, Brad. Let's do this. In which animated TV show is there a local fast food restaurant called the Chum Bucket? Uh, the, the, oh, SpongeBob. Yes. Which constellation represents a hunter with weapons? Okay. 
Jack Black voices Poe in what animated family comedy? Song from Panda. Yes. Foo Fighters had a late 90s hit song titled Learn to What? Uh, pass. Frank Sinatra was buried with a bottle of what whiskey? Jack Daniels. Yes. What car did Chevrolet design the Camaro to compete with in 1966? Uh, pass. What is the body's process of breaking down food called? Digestion? Yes. Beginning with S, what is the real first name of MC Hammer? Steve. No. (laughs) (laughs) Sam. Uh, No. Sean. No. Cheese Whiz made its debut in what decade? Uh, 50, 60, 70. 50s, yes. What is water in its solid form called? Ice. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Correct. And yes, I did write that question before we had our uh, very scintillating ice chat earlier today. Yeah, you brought it on al- yourself. <sighs> he also he also did get one uh, incorrect, but I think you just assumed that it was correct, but he was wrong. Which Unless one? You, uh, the, the first question, I think. Yeah, what was no. The f- uh, the first one he got correct. What was it? What was the uh, question? In which animated TV show is our local fast food restaurant called the yeah. Chum Bucket? He did not get that right. Uh, at least from my understanding, he didn't get it right, and you just gave it to him. He got it. He got it slightly right, but it's not completely right. All right, cool, whatever. I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> I know you're like, just saying. You always well, just saying. I, well, listen, it, it benefits me if you give him an extra thing right, but I want to be at least fair. You know, I mean, if if you called, like, for instance, a story, if you said, hey, what's that story with the, the three kids and the three girls and the three boys? And you said, oh, it's the show. It's called The Brady. You'd be wrong. It's not The Brady. You know, it's the Brady Bunch. But would you say the Brady's? Would that count? No, see, technically, wouldn't. no, it wouldn't. So, I mean, I see what you're saying, but That's I still not, hate just, you, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but, so we'll see if it makes a difference, is all I'm saying. Well, if Steve says the same thing. Well, then uh, I'll have to not give it to him, then I guess, because we'll have to change the rules on the fly. I listen, however you want to do it, I'm just saying you kind of, you know, you kind of broke your own rules because you are usually a particular about these things. Yeah, well, to be perfectly honest, I just wanted to uh, get on with the game and uh, get done with it because <laughs> of... Uh, you, oh, you're just done? You're done with all of it? Well, I mean, Brad was a little loud there and I was just kind of over it, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. So, Steve, yeah. the the rules bent a little bit, but I mean, yeah, yeah whatever. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> In which animated TV show is there a local fast food restaurant called The Chum Bucket? <laughs> Make sure you don't say that fast. Uh, <laughs> that's for sure. Family Guy? No. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants? Yes. Which awesome. constellation represents a hunter with weapons? Orion. Yes. I love Jack Black voices Poe in what animated family comedy? Uh, Kung Fu Panda. Yes. Foo Fighters had the late 90s hit song titled Learn to What? Fly. Yes. Yeah. Frank Sinatra was buried with a bottle of what whiskey? Oh. I mean, Jack Daniels? Yes. I didn't know that. Which car I did. Uh, which car did Chevrolet design the Camaro to compete with in 1966? Mustang. Yes. What is the body's process of breaking down food called? Pooping. No. <laughs> Digestion. Yes. Beginning with S, right. what is the real first name of MC Hammer? Stanley. Whoa, yeah. Cheese yeah. Whiz made its debut in what decade? 50s. Yes. Oh. What is water in its solid form called? Ice. Yes. And Steve, well, you avoided all controversy by getting a perfect 10 and winning. Ooh. Nice yeah, job, Steve. All I do is yeah, sorry, Brad. Me, no matter what, fuck, I money on sorry. Ride, I can never get enough. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Too legit to quit. Whoa. And they say that I don't know how you knew Stanley. Stanley Bureau. You know his last name, too? I don't know why I do. Yeah, that's you just like rattled that right off. That's and he, pretty when amazing. he was a kid, he was a bat boy for the Oakland A's. Really? Oh, I was kind yeah. of into yeah. MC Hammer, clearly. Okay, well, I guess I have yeah. to stop the MC Hammer question. Yeah, <laughs> he knows a lot about that. <laughs> My knowledge kind of ends there. Okay, yeah. well, I mean, still, that was really three good factoids that I would yeah. use for questions. Did you know that, BJ? Um, I did know he was a bat boy now that you reminded me. Yeah. Yes. I just knew that he became a pastor after the MC Hammer stuff. That's all I knew about it. That I don't think I knew. Didn't he go for a little bit of a run where he was trying to be like a gangster rapper for a minute? <sighs> I have no idea. This is a very tragic behind the music. Not tragic in that people, anyone died. I'm sure people did. I mean, that's just mm-hmm. my, everyone that deals yeah, with death in their does, life. Yeah. But but his was just all about, he just wanted to give money to all of his friends and family and employed yeah. all of them to the point where he went broke. I remember that, that one. That was yeah. pretty yeah. It's like his heart was in the right place. His wallet wasn't thinking very clearly. <laughs> yeah, not no. so much on that. Uh, well, congratulations on your perfect 10, sir. Thank you. Nice job, Steve. Perfect. Got a, Got a new study found out since we're talking about MC Hammer that we use music to cheer ourselves up an average of two times a week. 
Uh, two yeah. times a day. I was going to say every day. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. And, and, and 25% of the people say, yeah, because, you know, with the pandemic, it's been really even more important to be throwing music in there. So I'm with you. I think, you know, you're getting it more than just, uh, you know, a couple times a week. I was going to say, see, for me, it's not even pandemic related. I just get in my car in the morning. I'm so tired and I just throw on some like one of my feel good playlists and my entire drive to work is fantastic. You have a feel good playlist? Oh, yeah. See, I have a couple playlists that came from, like, we made playlists when we would go to the Classic, that hockey tournament in Spokane, because we would have access to a Bluetooth in the, in, on the party bus, sure. on the, the Lion Pride party bus. So we would just, uh, we would, like, spend weeks sending each other ideas, and it was, like, just <laughs> a crap ton of, like, just random, like, fun, hip hop ta- you know, like, EDM, but I remember, like, a lot of Mac Miller and a lot of, like, just ridiculous stuff, but, like, I'll sometimes grab that to put me in a good mood. But I was trying to think of, like, what's the most recent song that, like, instantly put me in a good mood. And it, Danny actually sent it to me because I didn't even know they did this. And, BJ, you should check it out. It's a cover okay. of uh, Weezer's My Name is Jonas. Mm-hmm. And it's done by Taking Back Sunday, which is a, a fun band. Oh, really? And they did it pretty true. Uh, usually I'm, like, not, not into the whole, like, doing something completely true to the original. You should kind of make it feel like your own. But Taking Back Sunday already had that vibe anyway. So I don't feel like it didn't. It, it really worked well for their cover because it, it, it just sounded like them. Wow, yeah, I'll have to check that out because I like that tune. Oh, it's so good. They did such a yeah. great job on the cover. They just put it out, and I'm like, just do a cover of the entire record. Really? They should. Yeah. Um, uh, you know what? I have no problem with that. You know, I, I I can't get enough Weezer as it is. Loving their new album. And I've been uh, listening to Breaking Waves, that podcast that uh, we have here on yes. Odyssey. And yeah. Brian Castle hosted and a bunch of great luminaries from the Seattle area talk about the Seattle music scene. And the last episode really kind of went into the whole... Uh, uh, Pearl Jam, the debut record, the debut record, or just a lot of those records that came out around the early 90s for the Seattle music scene. And so I was just spending a lot of time listening to Pearl Jam's 10 again. And you just forget how much you love the record because you just, you know, there's so many other things to listen to. I never even think about going back to listen to it. But because of that podcast, I've been listening to it and it instantly put me in a great mood. I think, you know, and it's a, it's it's so well done, by the way. And, uh, you know, Breaking Waves, you can get on the Odyssey app. Also, you can get it wherever you can get podcasts. But, man, uh, boy, is that a well done, well done podcast. Uh, you know, I knew stuff, but I still didn't realize just how Andrew Wood was the big star. Like, everybody yep. thought he was going to be the big star, Andy Wood. And, you know, obviously, tragically, that didn't happen. Right but, before the record came out, it tragically yeah. didn't happen, too. It was just, just terrible. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They got the deal. They got whatever it was. And, I mean, you know, what would life have been like? I mean, when you think about it, what would the entire Seattle sound have been like if, indeed, Andrew didn't pass away? And, like everybody thought, you know, he and Mudhoney were just going to go on and become, like, you know, a, a big hit. Well, Mudhoney wasn't his band. It was I'm not Mudhoney. Mudhoney Mud, 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 was talked about yes. a lot because a lot of people yeah. thought that was going to be the big band coming out of Seattle. Like, they would play, like, yeah. the, they were playing, like, the Seattle Coliseum you know, in, in yeah. other towns they wouldn't have, but like in Seattle, they were just they were the S, and and it, obviously like they've done well, but not as well as people were thinking they would uh, have uh, as a career. Yeah, it's a fun listen, man. I'm glad that you're listening yeah. to the podcast. It's I think yeah. about that a lot. Like, what would have this music scene been like if Andrew Wood didn't pass away? Like, what, yeah, would Mother Lovebone have continued? You know, you don't, you don't know how bands are. Maybe like he would have went solo. Who knows? And then, you know, it's like that, but- was it the butterfly effect when certain things happen? Yep. Yes. So, like, if, if he was still around, there would be no Pearl Jam. And, like, that's, exactly. a, that's a, a crazy thing to think of. Like, what would have the Seattle music scene been without that? You know, and then also you wouldn't have had, like, the collaboration between Cornell and, and, and Temple of the Dog with the members of now Pearl Jam. Like, a lot of things happened that were pretty amazing. And that just shows the, the power of Andrew Wood and the love that they had. Like, he still created great art in his passing unintentionally, uh, but because of all these bands that were so inspired by him. And uh, again, it's called Breaking Waves uh, Seattle, and it is on the Odyssey app, and you can get it wherever you get podcasts. It is a great, great story of the Seattle music scene and how it all got started. And uh, fascinating stuff, stuff that you, like even Steve, you said you've learned stuff you didn't even know, and you've been a big follower for your, your pretty much your whole life. I didn't know a lot about the animosity towards uh, Sub Pop Records that was going on, because I didn't live here during that time. So to me, being an outsider, I was obsessed with Sub Pop and CZ Records, which are talked about in the podcast, like these independent labels that were distributed the music of the Seattle sound and I did not know that there were certain people that had ill will towards Sub Pop because in a way and I, as an outsider they did that I thought Sub Pop was a massive they they kind of controlled the Seattle music scene in a sense in my vibe you know like they're putting on all the great music but for some people locally like oh man they kind of monopolized things and took credit for things that they shouldn't have 
Damn. So it's a really interesting listen. I can listen to a whole documentary now about Sub Pop because it's like, wow, that's some stuff I did not know. So check it out on the Odyssey app. That's, of course, where you get a lot of cool stuff, including our show and our, our podcast as well. A-U-D-A-C-Y. That is the Odyssey app. Get it wherever you get your apps on your app store. It is time for Listener on the Loose. This is where you get to pick the topic. You get to guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Whatever you want to talk about. We got your calls. We got your texts. We'll take those at 920 on the Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It is Listeners on the Loose, brought to you by Spartan Plumbing. Listeners on the Loose, you pick the topic, you guide the show. 206-421-ROCK, text us at 77999. This is the time. You know what? This is your time. That's right. You get to do whatever you want as long as you, well, as long as you follow Steve's rule. It's a simple rule, BJ. It's to show some energy and bring it. Otherwise, we're going to have to gong you. And then say goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. I kind of stumbled because, as I was saying, this is your time. I thought of that stupid Carlos Correa of the Astros. He's been doing that, pointing to his wrist with a, like, he's got a watch on there going, it's my time, it's my time, oh. every time he does something good. Oh, geez. Yeah, and by the way, he's good, so he does something good a lot. Did he say it's clobbering time? I wish he would. I mean, you know, he, no, he's, he's, you know what, man? The dude is a good player, and he and he gets flamboyant when he does something good. It's like you know, it's like a it's like an end going an end zone celebration mm-hmm. in baseball, if you will. Every time he gets a hit, he just points to his watch, and all the players do some sort of thing. So I, I really, you know, I can't be mad at the guy, except he's on the wrong he's team. On, yeah, you think you'd yeah. love him if he was on your team? Exactly. I wish more baseball players would start doing that. I know there's a few now. Like, was it uh, Tatis from uh, San Diego? Yes. Like, that that are actually looking like they're having fun playing a sport, which I think is such a crazy idea. Like, that you would be enjoying playing a sport for a living. But, like, some people get so hell bent and, like, get their panties in a wad over, like, a player looking like they're having fun. Yeah, and I don't know if you, you you probably haven't been following it, but a lot of folks now have, have have seen what the Red Sox tradition was this year. Every time somebody hit a home run, they would give them a ride in the laundry cart from one end of the dugout to the other, and and then they did a whole piece on it because they're just like these kid these guys are having fun like little kids, and and they even did it when they lost last night. They only got one run; it was on a home run. Yeah. They still did the laundry cart ride, even though the Astros were kicking their butt. Because you got to have fun, even in the midst in the midst of anything. Don't forget, a little fun is helpful. Right, a series is over so i mean you gotta keep that mentality going yeah exactly and the dude pushing the card is a guy that unfortunately doesn't get to play because they they acquired him too late so he really helped him get into the playoffs and then the rules say he couldn't play but they said would you like to at least push the cart and be in the dugout with us and he was like i sure would you know so it's like he's like he's like a little kid doing it's like this dude would love to be playing but he can't because of rules and so yeah, you're right, Steve. A lot more players should be like that, and and I, you know, and and, and that's why I get mad when those end going when they when they really take the fun out of like the NFL. It's like really, you're going to penalize guys for that? Come on. So it's like, Megs, I'm surprised you're still on the air. I'm, I'm shocked you're not watching Crown Jewel, the WWE pay per view. It's a very good point. I, I mean, why oh, would I that be watching that on my phone? Oh, you're wow, on the show's that. going on. Uh, <laughs> it's a Hell in a Cell match with Edge and Seth Rollins going uh, on. Are you live serious? Right now. Okay. That's oh, okay. basically uh, on my phone. <laughs> okay. Of course you are. Listen, I, 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 can't, I can't throw stones. I was just informed by, uh, by Caesar that uh, apparently Dune is at 3 o'clock today. Yes. Yeah, he texted us. He said, hey, are you going to be watching it, BJ? I'll be watching it on my 85-inch TV. I know. He always has to go tell me how big his TV is. He's oh, always, there's nothing he's humble not, about that brag. No, not at all. <laughs> no. Caesar, <laughs> every time he's on vacation, every time he gets a new piece of electronics, he's always like, hey, BJ, I'm in Mexico with my wonderful wife with this beautiful view. Yeah, okay. Good. He always finds a way to like send me a message and be like, hey, how are you liking your TV? Because you know I got a bigger TV you know, when I got my new house. And I'm like, oh, it's awesome. And he goes, yeah, check mine out. And this is like 20 inches bigger or whatever oh, yeah. it is. It's like, it's, I'm like, thanks. Good, thanks for reminding me. Yeah. You yeah, have yeah, a very thanks, large thanks, TV pal. there, Caesar. But I, I didn't get to uh, watch the Browns beat the Broncos on it tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you are not oh. sorry. I'm sorry. I love Caesar. <laughs> yeah. But this was a treat because I really didn't know I would get to watch Dune today. So I'm probably going to watch a little Dune today. So it's on HBO Max. Yeah. Yeah, HBO mm-hmm. Max. You can see it in the theaters probably. I don't know. Sometimes they, they do put movies out on Thursdays as well, so I don't know. Yeah, there will be a couple of uh, Thursdays, I feel. But, yeah, for the most part, 
It's uh, a tough one. Today is Thursday, so yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah. my whole brain. I was like, oh yeah, it is coming out on Wednesday. No, it's today. Yeah, so there are some today. It's a tough one. It looks epic. I think maybe if I really, really like it, I'll go see it on the big screen because I mean that's just the way you know epic, epic movies and you know, should be seen. Uh, but people are really saying good things about it, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. You know that uh, that Dune turns out to be uh, as good as they say it. Is. It's a long one too, two hours thirty five minutes. Nope, oh, run P baby. Wow. Well, or <laughs> I don't even know my if have one yet. I mean, oh, the, 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 pause button. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the pause P baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So three o'clock. I'm waiting for. All right. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, and uh, and that means it'll, I'll have to pause Squid Games, which a uh, Squid Game, which I've been watching. And man, is that it. everyone's right? That's a great show. Oh my gosh, is that such a good show? I'm sorry, so going back to Dune, uh, 87% on the tomato meter. Mm-hmm. Woo! So that's All a right. good sign. That's a very good sign. And that's for the critics. Obviously, there's no audience score because it hasn't been put out yet. I feel like, you know, the, 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 what do you have to compare it to? The movie? The other movie that was done with Kyle McLaughlin? Yeah, is this a reboot? Or like, what? what is this? Do uh, I yeah. need to watch other Dunes to be able to enjoy this Dune? You don't no. have to, no. Okay, good. No. And the first one was done by David Lynch. Yeah, he's weird. Try, yeah, exactly. He's weird, and he tried to kind of keep a semblance of, like, coherency to it. But the it, it's a very confusing movie, and then the end kind of turns almost into a montage because he kind of ran out of time. So it's 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 a good movie. People like it, but there's many, 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 many flaws to it. Yeah, and I know a lot of people are excited for this new one because it has like a ridiculous all star cast. Oh yeah, because it's like Timothy Chalamet, Oscar Isaac, Josh Brolin, Jason Momoa, Zendaya, Dave, uh, Dave Bautista, Javier Bardem. It's supposed to be like one of the best movies of the year. Yeah, it's going to be a big, big, big epic. Well, maybe I need to check it out this weekend. Yeah. Which is amazing that maybe. it's... Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, if you're not watching Coco Melon... Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know how much a toddler's going to help or going to want to watch uh, Dune. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully it's as good. I mean, I've, I've been, you know, there aren't too many HBO Max blockbusters that would come out from Warner Brothers that I've really liked on HBO Max. So this could be the first Wonder one. Wonder like, you love that one. Wonder Woman! Why, Why? Yeah. poke the bear? Why? I didn't know that Dune... I didn't know what Dune was, so I had to ask Joe because uh, I thought it was a video game and then he's like oh Danny that's Doom yeah that's Doom yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. they made a video game for Dune though didn't they well I'm I'm sure they must have made some it's video games like a video game vibe to there it there are board games that have been made for Dune that I know but I don't know about video I games I could have sworn there was a video game but you might I be mean, confusing they, with Doom Steve you really no, might not. be there I'm are not. but they look like really crappy ones that yeah they're old like real time strategy games they're the PC oh. CD-ROM version oh, I was yeah. thinking like Atari era mm-hmm. of Dune but I could, oh really I don't <laughs> know or Genesis yeah. or something I don't know there was one for the Sega CD and this is the one we're talking about and it really wasn't great okay yeah. Yeah. What oh, are you going to do? do? <laughs> hey, what are you going to do? I'm not going to see any of it anyway. Hey, you yeah. know what show I, I, I did finally start to watch? And What's that? We're only one episode in, so I take it with a grain of salt, but really dug it, was La Brea. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I forgot about yeah, La Brea. I totally forgot. Okay. How could you forget? Well, I, well, I did. <laughs> That's a fair reason. I mean, I can't argue that. <laughs> and it's, you're liking it? First episode was great. Yeah, really interesting show. Uh, I wow. mean, I don't know. It's hard, though, because a lot of times you just want to think, like, oh, this is, like a, um, is this another Lost? But they even, like, like say that during the show, like, almost like a nod to, like, the fact that people are probably going to just assume it's Lost. Oh, okay. Which I thought was kind of funny. But it's a... Really interesting premise, and I'm kind of I'm curious to see what happens in the next episode. I mean, that's all you could ask for on a show that's like, well, is it, like, that's is episodic it, like that. Does it start on a plane? I mean, no, if it, if it, because no, Manifest, but it's like, like, <laughs> Manifest and Lost both started on planes. Didn't that's why start on like, a plane, but it's okay. like there's a sinkhole, and and, and this is all the right. premise. I'm not spoiling anything, but like the people that go through the sinkhole are now in a different reality. Oh, that kind of makes sense. Kind of like that, and it sounds like they're like they're. they're like like ten thousand BC is where they've ended up, or something. Oh, like land of the lost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some people yeah. joked about that as well. I saw. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. Well, well so uh, far so good though. I think when I'm done with Squid Game, I'll be ready to uh, binge watch a little bit of that. So, uh, hey, Vicky, would you send me an email? Watch La, La Brea? No. Because I, for- I totally forgot all about it. Thanks, buddy. It looks like it's a pretty short season. It was like six episodes? Makes well, sense. There are only four episodes in, I think, at okay. this point. So I, I think have no idea. There might only be six episodes total, according to IMDb, which is that's- quick season. I think that's what they got to do with shows. They really need to give you a a six episode and that way they can see if people really like it. And that's not a big commitment on my part in case they don't. That would be interesting because it's not often that a network television show would only do something less than 10 episodes. I agree. It's a little weird. It's very Netflixy. 
Yeah, okay. I, I wish they mm-hmm. did that with Debris because maybe people would have liked that show better at, at, or at least they would have known in six episodes and I wouldn't have made all this multi-episode commitment to a show that's canceled. Oh, how dare they? I'm so bummed, dude. It's just That's why I don't trust NBC. That's why I was like, I didn't give Manifest a chance until it went to Netflix. So and uh, so now La Brea. Is that what, what, what network's that on? NBC. You watch on oh, Peacock as well. Oh, my God. I'm, it's NBC. I, you know, I'm so oh, mad at doomed. them. They're doomed. I know. Yeah. Because they, they, they also, doomed. it's universal. They run the sci-fi network. And there's shows on the sci-fi network that they piss me off about. So, all right, NBC. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's <laughs> a long luck. history of them just canceling shows that I give my heart and soul to. But all right. All right. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. We got more of your calls, more of your texts. We'll take those at 936 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock at 99.9 KISW. Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melting craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 33 through 518 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Everything is better electrified like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first-ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. 99.9 99.9 KISW, the rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic, you guide the show. 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. Texts are coming in. Somebody just said, Hey, uh, I need some advice from you guys. My four year old uh, is my stepson. He's four years old now, and he still sucks his thumb. We're oh. trying our hardest to stop him uh, when, we, when we see him, but his mom also gets mad at us because she says it's not a big deal. At what age do you guys think thumb sucking should stop? 32. I was going to say, I think I was around 35 when I stopped sucking my <laughs> thumb. Yeah. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. It used to be dentally it wasn't a good thing. I remember they used to say, yep. you wreck your teeth or something. I know the doctor dentist was saying, like with my little brother, that he needs to stop using a bottle or a pacifier by the time he's like three. Oh. So I feel like that would affect his mouth and stuff. So talk to your doctor. And I think that's about the age. That's it, always the person that can get you to tell your spouse they're wrong. The <laughs> professional. Or the ex, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if you also tell a kid not to do something, they're going to do it more. Because my little brother has this thing right now where he will pick his nose, make eye contact, pick his nose, look at you, show you the book, and then eat it while maintaining eye contact. And we tell him to stop. That's We gross. learned it by watching you. You do that to us yeah, every morning. He, it's every really morning. Good. Good. I know, <laughs> but like that. my parents aren't appreciative that he learned this from me. Yeah, and we're trying I to get know. him to stop, I guess. But he just does it more. He's like, oh, you like that? I'm going to do it again. I'm glad, like, Tatum just seems to, like, be a mini-me for Sid. Like, whatever Sid does, she wants to try. Like, if Sid's doing, like, a weird stretching thing in the house, she lifts her leg up and she's putting her head on the ground and, like, trying to do all those things. She never tries to duplicate anything that I do, which is a good thing. Sometimes I'm, like, you know, just picking my nose, scratching my boys. It's like, she's like, nah, Dad, you're not interesting to me. She she doesn't fart? She does fart, Okay, so And and also giggles when she farts. Yeah. Like that. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Her thing is she does suck her thumb, and we're not okay. worried about it. Great, she's only two. I mean, it's like not not too concerned. But her like security blanket is sucking her thumb, 
And then her other arm has to work its way into mom's shirt, and she just holds mom's <laughs> like, boo. So once again, oh, wow. so she thought she co- she does copy you in different yeah, things. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. much like it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, one's got the left, one's got the right, and we both <laughs> just sit there and watch television. <laughs> That's a good family scene. You should get a painting. Get a portrait done. The Christmas Penny. picture. No, the family photographer denied taking that picture. We're like, I don't this know is why. us in our natural element. And Lulu just laying uh, across her lap. Yeah, it was That's like, what's wrong did. with this family? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not birthed into. I'm not birthed into this family. <laughs> no. They're weird. Yeah, the dog is the only sane one apparently. But I was like, at what point do we try and wean her off of that? Because like when we're in public, you have to like kind of like keep her arm at bay. Because she's just like working her way towards the yeah. shirt, oh, trying to pull the yeah. shirt down, and I'm just like watching this. Like, how's this gonna unfold? Yeah, this <laughs> is. Yeah, <laughs> ah, I remember when I was a kid, I, I I remember sucking my thumb. Probably, I was old enough to remember sucking my thumb. Mm. So I had to be around four ish, five ish, or something. And the way that my parents got me to stop is that they put band aids on my thumb, so that when I put my thumb in my mouth. The taste was so nasty that yes. I didn't want to do it, and I like it was Ooh. almost like they shit shadowed me into like not sucking my thumb. Oh, wow. good call! Yeah, like, yeah. Here, you want you want to suck your thumb? Go ahead. It's gonna yeah, it's gonna be nasty. Yeah, I used to have a I used to have a pizza until I was probably like three, and the way that my mom got me to stop was I got really sick one time. It was just like the flu or something, uh-huh. but it, I I threw up, and my mom was like, "Oh, it's it's the it's the pizza. It made you get sick. You can't do." And so after that, like throwing up is kind of like the pizza. All right, uh, pizza. Fire kind fire. of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we, it was, that was what we called it. I was like, yeah. I, I thought you were trying to say pasta, and I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, it's I the hate pasta. pasta. You having pasta? pasta? Well, yeah. you guys weren't all hanging around Danny when he was like two. Come on, yeah. how do you not know this? I love pasta, but I never yeah. wanted to do it again. It was kind of the same thing of like when you get food poisoning oh. and you throw up, and you don't want to eat that food for a while. Or like when you get older and you have tequila too much one night. I, that's yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah it, it takes you about ten years until you want to even try it again. Or bananas. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, there we go. We've learned that you you need to lie to the children. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You need to put band aids all over them and somehow get the doctor to say that everything that you know your ex is doing is wrong for the child. I went online to see what kind of stuff they have for it. Like I thought, like maybe that nail polish for like people who bite their nails to prevent them from doing it. But they have at this point just put a cone on your kid like you would a dog. It's like a weird brace you put on their elbow so they can't put their hand in their mouth. Oh, that's oh. weird. It, it's, oh like, yeah, just put the cone on. I feel like that would be a little bit more. I can't believe that's even sold. Right. It's oh, called yeah. the Nip It Hand Stopper. And oh, they also yeah. have like these other weird contraptions to put on the hands. Like oh, that, oh, was, yeah. that almost looks like those like those masks people wear like instead of a face mask, like those clear masks, yeah. but it's, it's a on thumb the mask. It's a thumb mask. Thumb mask. All right then. That's like fifty bucks. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the wrong money. business. See, there's but who's buying it? Uh, people well, who moms. have their first kids. Yeah, people oh, who are yeah. yeah, people who are tired of uh, their kids sucking their thumb. I guess I got to imagine at least like once every few months. They're like, holy crap, we sold another one. <laughs> it's not like I don't think those things are flying off the shelves. I mean, it just reminds me there's yeah. a gif out there of a kid trying to eat an ice cream cone, but he's wearing those little water wings <laughs> and he can't get there. Like, just buy some water wings and put them on your kid, and it should help it. There you go. That arm one's so trippy. That just seems so old. Like I remember my. When my grandfather would watch me back when I was a little kid, and he realized I was a lefty. In, th- in those days, like being a lefty was like considered not a good thing. Yeah. No. So he took rope and tied it to the back of my like belt loop on my belt, like that on the on your pants, and he tied my left arm behind my back, and he would just let me exist around his house while mom wasn't around with my arm tied on my back, like for wow. hours. Oh, so he was basically yeah. forcing me to learn how to use my right hand. And he, dude, yeah. I love my grandfather. Like it was, I don't know why. Like this was just like a big thing for him until my mom found out. And I've never seen my mom get mad at her dad, except for that time. And I was young yeah. enough. To, I, I still remember that to my day, to this day. Like I learned a lot of different words that day from mom because she was not happy. But yeah, he was doing yeah, that yeah, for yeah. weeks. Yeah, you wow. can't mess. With you. That's the other thing you can't do is mess with your 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 you know your the kids of your kids. You're just not going to do that. You just ne- at least it was within the family, you know. So she she felt like she could yell at her own dad about it. Yeah, but yeah, you learn that you learn quickly, especially with the mother. You do not do anything that the mother doesn't sign off on. You just don't. You're you're asking you're you're asking for trouble, and that's exactly what he was doing. He thought he knew, but and then he's all right. Well, you just got an earful there, Grandpa. I. I do believe that that was a big reason why I'm kind of, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm amb- ambidextrous because I mean, I can't like write with both hands, but like there's certain things I only do with my right hand 
and there's other things I only do. I don't want to know. Yeah, I, I don't, don't want to. I, I play know. hockey. I play hockey, righty yeah. style, drumming, le- righty style. Hockey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah you know, like you Turn the right? butter lefty, of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't turn butter in your house? No, 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 no. I mean, no, I use no, a shake way to my house. Yeah, shake really? way lefty. Yeah. Really? There's got to be other topics. Huh? Baseball, righty, bowl, yeah. righty. It's all fascinating. Yeah. Thank you, but I don't want to hear about how you, you know. Yeah. Oh, is it fascinating? Good. Well, like, then you can go churn the butter with them, okay? I don't think that's fascinating. Who doesn't love fresh butter? <laughs> okay. I, <laughs> you know I love, wait. Wow. This is all. Yeah. 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 That's lovely. Fine. Well, it is uh, listeners on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know it was also employees on the loose. 206 or 21 Rock. Text us at 77999. Vindication. Got a text that vindicates oh. me oh, and what? my taste making uh, suggestions when it comes to food. Mm. Oh, did somebody now? Is anybody on this show saying that whatever they're talking about, you were crazy for? No, but I just like being vindicated. When oh, okay, because right. sometimes you throw things out. I'm like, man, I'm gonna just get beat up on the text when I suggested that going to the QFC to get sushi is actually a good call. Oh, oh, yeah, everybody. I think everybody knows that, really. But they, uh, yeah, I mean, really, they they've done a good job over at the QFC. I, and and I thought maybe it was just Mercer Island because everyone was fancy. But then you told me no, Puyallup is bringing it too. Oh no, I'm talking about Renton, man. I don't even know Renton. if Puyallup was making it happen. It's, oh, it's the Renton. Wow. One. Oh, I so didn't realize just, it was Renton. Okay, they, they said, hey, I tried the Louisiana roll at the QFC, and Steve, you were right. That is my new favorite sushi roll, Louisiana roll. So that's the one with crawfish on top. Oh, of it. oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, th- I yeah. You live. You have your favorite sushi joint around you at Puyallup, so therefore you don't have to go anywhere. But your favorite sushi joint is that yeah. why you don't go to the QFC? Yeah, I like to go to Renton for my QFC sushi. It's just a thing. No, I. I it's all, the only reason why I know is because I play hockey sometimes over at ah. Snow King Ice in Renton, and oddly enough, I agreed to play today solely because I wanted to. Ah. Stop oh. at the QFC there and get go. the Louisiana roll. Dude, good call, man. Good call. I don't know. They're like, call. we need a goalie. And I'm like. Yeah, I can make it happen because it's kind of like a pain because then I hit traffic on the way home. So I love doing it, but sometimes it's just a pain in my butt to do it. But I'm like, yeah. I've been craving that role for a while. I'll, I'll play hockey, sure. And it's solely so that I can stop at the QFC afterwards and get the Louisiana roll. Nice. Which, if it's not there, I'm going to be so disappointed. Oh. You might hear about me on the 5 o'clock news. No, you should ask them. A lot of times the sushi... Su- yeah, you can do it. You can come, do on. It. Sushi come on, sushi chefs. I can't do it either. I have a hard time with that as <laughs> that well. That was bad. They'll yeah. they'll make you what they don't have if they have the stuff there. What the QFC people? Yeah, they've made it for me wow. before because I got there early and I wanted spicy tuna. They didn't have spicy tuna, so they made me a roll. Wow! And yeah. I was like, All right, thank Steve. you, man. Man, I didn't know you could. I, I didn't realize that they would do that for you like that there at QFC. If they did at the, at the one in West Seattle. I don't know if they do it at all of them. But oh, well, if they man. don't, again, I'll be on the 5 o'clock news. Fair man oh, man boy, destroys the cool. QFC in Renton. Wow. All okay. because the Louisiana roll was not available. Yeah, but think of all the morning shows that get to run your video and, and talk about it like we That's do. When people I'll, I'll do an interview and I'll talk about how I needed oh. that roll in my mouth. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, we have a, a big question that needs to be answered right now. What do Ryan Castle and a napkin have in common? You're going to find out at 9.50 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. And now, the Ryan Castle question of the day. What do Ryan Castle and a napkin have in common? Uh, white and probably has food on it somewhere. Yeah. I can't argue with that description. That's straight up today, BJ. No uh, oh, yeah. ahas. That's a fact. There you go. Put a smile on my face like you do every day, buddy. Someone said that both can be used to wipe up Steve's drool. Oh, that's good. All Steve right. tucks both into his shirt on spaghetti night. Oh. All right. <laughs> No, no, I did that to Ryan. It's a weird visual. <laughs> Dude, I do love spaghetti uh, night. It's uh, delicious. Oh, wow. Okay, then. All righty. It's not as good as meatloaf night, though. No, not at all. Oh, Mondays are the best nights, right? We got a uh, 28-year-old man who walked into a Waffle House, because right now, Waffle House is the joint, apparently, for all sorts of weirdness. And Florida, of course, helping out. Always. Uh, he walked Always. in with his dog. And he announced that he was there to rob the place, and he shouted, quote, Get on the ground, y'all! Get robbed! Um, but he didn't appear to have a weapon, but he did raise his hands with his fingers out in the shape of a gun, so he did the finger gun thing. Uh, he also admitted that he was high and drunk. And uh, the robbery, well, apparently, all he wanted was napkins. So he basically finger gun said, Hey, there's going to be a robbery, y'all, and I walked out. 
with a bunch of napkins and uh, jumped in his vehicle and drove off. Are you looking at uh, dude? His mugshot picture is the greatest thing ever because he's rocking a SpongeBob SquarePants shirt. Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, come on. Stop yeah. Um, so, Stop messing uh, around. We don't know why this all happened, but he is going to get charged with robbery. Uh, we don't know why Ryan Castle happened, but he's going to give you a 12 pack. Poor parent. BJ and yeah. Wiggs play of the day. What'd you get your wife for Christmas? An ice maker. I, I mean, I don't know how she's going to take that. Is, is that a risky thing to do, like buying an appliance, like a, a vacuum cleaner? See, that's you know an I mean? extravagant appliance. I feel like you should be okay with that. You think? It'd be I like think getting so, a yeah. fancy, like, espresso machine. It's an appliance, but it's a luxury. It's awesome. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I got look. I, 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 I would be happy if I got it. If you, I'll tell you what, it buy it, and if she gives you grief, just give it to me, and then. Uh, <laughs> DJ and Migs mornings on the Rock ninety nine point nine KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. If I call Travis, will I actually see him or someone who works for him? Absolutely. When you come in to see my to my office, uh, when you first call in, my staff will try to help you with with any basic questions that you have. Uh, I can give you a call back, uh, but they'll schedule usually try to schedule you for a free consultation with me, the attorney, and I'll meet with you personally. We'll talk about your the basics of your case, and I'll take you through a question and answer session that usually la- an interview that usually lasts about thirty minutes. Uh, we'll, we'll get the basics of your financial situation. I can answer your questions, and we can talk about whether bankruptcy makes sense, your uh, your non-bankruptcy options, uh, and how bankruptcy could affect you, what the process is. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melt and craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3 3 through 5 18 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.